Youssef Asad is a 27-year-old student at Columbia University who is part of a second generation of Libyans whose parents left their country in 1969. Some by choice and others forced to leave for their safety. Youssef said the movement that arose in February opposing Gaddafi's regime grew in Libya as a result of decades of depression. Very few people really accepted the Gaddafi regime as a legitimate uh, governing force and Libyans have been working for decades on uh, building a democratic and free Libya, both inside the country and outside it. This young man is one of many Libyan Americans who have been organizing different kinds of actions as a result of the recent situation in Libya in an effort to provide the international community with the context of the history behind the current events. Today, Libya's population is so pushed up to the coastal areas that um, various tribes are now intermingled in urban environments. 80% of Libya is, is urban, so the traditional sort of historical sense of tribe living in the desert is not really a phenomenon that exists anymore. Since the UN established a no-fly zone in Libya, Youssef considers that young people in South Africa have a very clear mindset that they will continue protesting in order to make a change in their countries. It's really, you know, I think a global phenomenon that is led by this generation that grew, grew up under these circumstances where you know, they were told that they needed to live in orderly and stable societies before they could be allowed to have democracy. And I think the young people and, you know, people in general are saying, we have the right to participate in our own governments. And maybe they don't have the tools or the, or the institutions to do so, but that doesn't mean that they are incapable of building those institutions themselves. After finishing his undergraduate degree in East and South Africa studies in May, Youssef will travel to Libya to work there. He is convinced that Gaddafi's regime will fall, and after that happens, Libyans will have the mission to build a new society.